M G. What's up, guys? Darkish Raider, and uh, you know, uh, every once in a while, IGN will announce something that's actually worth looking into. DC Universe Online is going to be free, absolutely free, starting next month. Not only do we not have to pay the subscription fee, but we actually get the game itself for free, as in uh, downloadable. And go ahead, call me cheap, but that subscription fee is what kept me from getting the game at launch. But uh, now we're getting it for free. So now everyone, pretty much everyone who has a PS3 is going to be able to experience DC Universe Online. And of course, those who did pay that subscription fee are going to have some in-game benefits, which is only fair. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't believe it. Like, we actually going to get DC Universe Online for free. Free of charge. Dang, I cannot. That's for PS3 and PC. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to be on that. Though I heard it took up a lot of space. I hope my PS3 is going to be able to run it. I know I got to beat some, still beat some games and delete them, but <laughs> it's crazy. One thing's for sure, we're definitely going to have something to do while we're waiting for the what I call the Big Bang of Games, which is where all these exciting titles that were announced at E3 are going to be launched. All of them pretty much going to be launched by this year. And of course, we even have some games coming out in 2012 to look forward to. And uh, right now, well, not right now, but we just passed the TGS, the Tokyo Game Show, which Neo Gamespark, he said that TGS was better than E3, and I would have to... I have to agree 100% mainly because TGS does announce things unlike E3. E3 just takes what we already know and try to make it look new. But this could have been the best E3 in the history of E3 had they kept everything quiet. Like, for example, that Uncharted 3 demo they showed. Just imagine how much hyped up everybody would be if that was the first time we heard of Uncharted 3. Just think, Skyrim. What if that was the first time we heard about Skyrim? E3 this year, it could have been the best E3 in history if we hadn't known about everything they talked about. Starhawk, they could have kept that a surprise. Well, the damage has been done, so whatever. But yeah, something else I want to talk about. That uh, new Dead or Alive 5. They said it's going to have move support. I can't believe it. It's going to be so awesome just having a little PlayStation move. Just hold on a second. To just have your little move controllers and you just. And then like depending on the motion that you use the move you actually make a super attack like something like that but yeah I'm really looking forward to uh... well I can't say I'm gonna get Dead or Alive 5 yet cause uh... based on Dead or Alive on the 3DS I mean I was really disappointed I mean all it is is kicking and punching and countering there wasn't you don't see a lot of special attacks or yeah ultimate moves should I say so if they fix this problem in Dead or Alive 5 I would look I will look into it but yeah DC Universe Online for free on PS3 just had to get it out there I'm Darkest Raider catch you guys later